Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people. So the Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, during a presentation at the John Hawkins University School of Advanced International Studies, Washington, D.C., United States, said forensic auditors appointed by him or rather our immediate past government paid 37.2 billion naira to 72 contractors for non existent Abia Airport and other projects. You see, this is the problem we have here in this country. So many governors, past and present, with ghost projects that cannot be accounted for. And the most funny part is that everybody will just look past it and nothing, absolutely nothing, will happen to them. All right, I'm going to give you guys the full details of this news, but please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. So, a forensic audit conducted by an audit firm has revealed how the immediate past government of Abia State approved funds to contractors for the construction of non existent state owned airports and other infrastructure. The Abia State Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, made the revelation during a presentation at the John Hawkins University School of Advanced International Studies in Washington, D.C., United States. He spoke on the team. Dynamics of state governors, economic transition, and the challenges of seeking to establish a new order amidst multiple constraints and pushbacks. Dr. Alex Oti said it is difficult to admit how some Nigerian leaders contest election for reasons shrouded in corruption. The Abia state governor who took over from Okezi Ikbezwa in 2023 explained that some politicians have abused the privilege of governors. Oti explained how he engaged one of the top audit firms to examine the state accounts, adding that the auditor uncovered several deeds that are shrouded in corruption. According to him, he said, Talking about corruption, I set up a forensic audit as soon as I took over last year in Abia so that there won't be any argument. I called in one of the top three audit firms in the world, and not too long ago, they sent in their reports, and some of the things in the report are frightening. So, 9.3 billion naira was paid to several contractors for the contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion naira, almost 16 billion naira, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting document anywhere in the states. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that did not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25th, 2020, that is almost four years, paid to some contractors for the construction of Abia State Airport. We have spent time trying to locate the airport and up to now, we have failed. Oti told his audience that one of his aides advised him to seek artificial intelligence in search of the airport. So, as we continue to look for our airport, we have also involved security agencies to help us search. Oti explained that the 37.2 billion naira spent on ghost projects is what happened where politicians fail to understand the role of governance and economic integration. According to Oti, a lack of accountability enables madless stealing of resources from the people. The governor lamented her impoverish this populace promotes incompetence and damages trust in public institutions. He said the evidence of the lack of ingenuity of politicians is how Nigerian states struggle to pay salaries and pensions. Earlier in April 2024, Oti lamented that the state was plunged into debt of 192 billion naira by his predecessor, Ikbezwa. He further revealed how his predecessor also inherited 34.5 billion naira debt from Oji. The Abia state governor, Dr. Alex Oti, has urged businesses in Aba Abia state to copy the Chinese and Japanese business models as he planned massive infrastructural projects to spur economic activities in the state by next year. The Abia state governor seeks to achieve a clear departure from the past through aggressive spending on infrastructure, health, and education. As part of the move, Oti, who has experience in corporate governance, proposed a 567.24 billion naira budget for 2024 with 84% spending on infrastructure. Oti named the budget Budget of New Beginning. Oti believed that spending over 476.48 billion naira on infrastructure 
with poor economic activities in the state with a special focus on ABA, the state economic hub. All right, guys, I'm going to let you guys watch the video. And after that, I'll be right back. Talking about corruption, <coughs> I had uh, set up a forensic audit uh, as soon as I took, uh, took over last year in Abia. And um, so that there won't be any argument, I called in uh, one of the top three audit firms in the world. And not too long ago, they turned in their report. And some of the things in the report are frightening. So, some 9.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. <laughs> we have spent time trying to locate the airport. <laughs> um, up to now, we have failed. In fact, one of my aides told me the other day that maybe we are using uh, native intelligence to look for the airport that we should seek artificial intelligence. <laughs> so as we continue to look for airport, we have also involved security agencies to help us search. And uh, so that's just an example of uh, what typically happens. And uh, when you juxtapose that uh, with pensions that we are lying unpaid for about 10 years and uh, salary areas, just one on this head in the 10 billion that was spent to build a non existent airport was exactly the amount of money that our government used to take up the pension areas. So, my people, that is it. You see, governors only have immunity when in office, but after office, they don't. So they should be held responsible for any projects or spending that cannot be accounted for. All right, guys, I saw this news and I decided to share it with you guys. So please let me know your opinion in the comment section. And please help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. Amen.